the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, go forward. Shout a believing amen. Go forward. Spiritually, go forward. Financially, go forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. In your health, go forward. Family, go forward. The Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. I decree and declare, calamity will be too late to arrive your life. Calamity will be too late to arrive your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not beg and you will not borrow. Yet you will not lack. In the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted remain lifted forever. They will not go down. The Lord is your shepherd. He will guide you in paths of righteousness. He restores your soul. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord give you a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. For someone, God will take away sleep from your helpers. Like Ahasuerus. And make them open the book of remembrance towards you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whoever must come into your life for your rising. Wherever they are, may they come speedily. Everywhere your job is, may God locate you and take you there. Every force that keeps you down goes down for your sake. Every force attempting to keep you down goes down for your sake. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy over your life, go forward. Go forward. Make progress. Go forward. Make progress. I say it again, go forward. Make progress. Shame and reproach is far from your life. Stagnation is far from your life. Let it be clear that the hand of God is upon you. Let it be clear that the wisdom of God is upon you. Let it be clear that the favor of God is upon you. Let it be clear that you have become Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus, men will look at your life and they will learn God. They will look at your life and they will desire to know Him. They will look at your life and turn away from evil. They will look at your life and press for righteousness. They will look at your life and love the things of God. In the name of Jesus, anyone waiting for your downfall will wait forever because as for you the lord stands by you like a mighty terrible one in the name of jesus numbers chapter 1 and verse 5 let this be a prophetic word for you the man god has raised to stand by you the man god has raised to support you financially to support you spiritually keep that scripture there in the name of jesus i'm praying for you anywhere they are these are the names of the men that shall stand with you. May God raise them to stand with you. You will never stand alone. May God raise men to stand with you. Strategic destiny help us. You will call and the Lord will answer. You will call and men will answer. In the name of Jesus. Now, anyone here who came from a background of failure, you saw those before you fail, whether in ministry, whether in life, and there are covenants and ordinances connected to you by the blood of the eternal covenant. I speak to someone from this day. I severe you from that foundation. I severe you from that foundation. I declare longevity in ministry, longevity of impact, the staying power until the end. In the name of Jesus, you will never be found where God is not. I say it again, you will never be deceived to go where God is not. In the name of Jesus, every counsel of Ahitophel, I decree and declare your ears will not hear it. The ears of your helpers will not hear it. I say it again, your ears will not hear it. The counsel of Ahitophel, your helpers will not hear it. Anyone coming by the way of Demas, may they be far from you one coming in the spirit of Sambalat and Tobias to stop you from building I declare they depart from your life anyone coming in the spirit of Judas may they be far from you in the name of Jesus Christ oh your place of mentorship will be like that listen I prophesy to someone by the power of the Holy Spirit you will have a place like the house of Tyrannos you will raise others you will raise mighty men you will raise others you will raise mighty men you will raise others mightier than you in the name of Jesus 
the spirits that cut short the impact of men just when they're about to blow some something happens and they go down i pray for you minus you minus your children minus your business minus your family your influence will remain you will last till the very end only going higher and higher only going higher and higher only going higher and higher in the name of jesus for anyone here who is saying time is gone i've lost certain things in the name of jesus on account of this impartation let there be restoration let there be restoration 10 years in one year one year in one month in the name of jesus two more prayers for you i want to pray over your finances believe it all lack of finances can keep you at the corridors of compromise especially if you're in ministry i pray for you in the name of jesus christ may god raise help for you financial help in ministry help that stabilizes your integrity in the name of jesus any ministerial association any business association any political association any leadership association that will corrupt you from the purity of your work with god leading you into practices that are not of god destroying the purity of your oil i pray may your feet not go there shout it again may your feet not go there whether in ministry whether in business your those people will not find you they will not find your children in the name of Jesus your hands will not be empty let me speak favor upon your life this mystery that has helped men to become has helped men to gain acceleration in life let this grace called favor rest on you let it rest upon you upon your ministry upon your organization upon your family I forbid you from begging I forbid you from borrowing I forbid you from begging I forbid you from borrowing in the name of Jesus that many decades after now with Christ tarries you will still be standing you will not be a negative lesson for others to learn from my God will preserve you in the name of Jesus you will see signs and wonders in your life now listen to this one and receive it with all your heart. Can I tell you, if you do not rise to a position of influence, you will never be able to do much for the kingdom. Don't, don't mind ignorant people. You need influence as a vital tool for kingdom advance. The Bible says, neither do men light a lamp. There are many people who have a lot of value, but their influence is small. The Bible says, and it was noise abroad that Jesus was in town. I pray for you by the help of God we have received. I decree and declare that hear ye him anointing. Let it rest on you from this day. I release it from the depth of my spirit. That hear ye him anointing. Receive it in the name of Jesus. God will raise men who will herald your value. God will raise men who will herald your value in the name of Jesus. Let shame and reproach be far from you. Shame and reproach be far from your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, by the privilege of the apostleship and the power vested upon me by his majesty, Jesus himself, the head of the church, I declare the Koinonia School of Ministry Abuja said 2024 vessels we declare you graduates right now in the name of the Father the name of the Son and the name of the Holy Spirit let's give Jesus a big hand clap and celebrate with them congratulations the Bible says for your shame you shall receive double it's called honor it's not just restoration listen I have taught you what honor is honor is the grace that makes people perceive your value accurately and then reward that value to match your sacrifice if you do not have honor you will always be serving the wrong audience they will not have a recognition for what you carry nor an appreciation for it i pray for you you will not serve the wrong audience you will not serve the wrong audience god will position men who can discern and reward your sacrifice in the spirit 
and for everyone who has come to celebrate with these ones I decree and declare as God has done it for them may he do it for you do it for your ministries do it for your businesses do it for whatever it is you are involved with in the name of Jesus every nation that has rejected you not after this service in the name of Jesus let the gates be open for you whatever has made it difficult for you to meet your helper by prophecy I shorten the distance between you and your helper by prophecy I shorten the distance between you and your helper I shorten the distance between you and your helper in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare everyone who forgot you may they remember you tonight not tomorrow may they remember you tonight may they remember you for good may they remember you for kindness may they remember you for promotion may they remember you for lifting may they remember you for help may they be instruments of restoration in the name of Jesus anyone who has said where is your God may this week be their answer from Monday to Sunday let there be testimonies that show where your God is in the name of Jesus and any covenant with hell with the grave with the spirit of death we severe that covenant now let me pray for a man of God who is in ministry may your hands be strengthened that this remaining part of the year you will wax valiant you will do ministry with power you will bring great glory to the name of the Lord let me pray for a family here in spite of what may be happening around the nation I pray for you may a mark of exemption land on your head a mark of exemption let it rest on your head enjoy the help of man enjoy the wisdom of God go from glory to glory you will not die this week you won't be a victim of accidents you won't be a victim of the plot of the wicked this is the week God will judge the wicked on your behalf you are blessed your family is blessed your children blessed your spouse blessed your ministry blessed your finances blessed return with testimonies in the name of Jesus this week beginning I call it a week of favor I call it a week of wonders I call it a week of speed I call it a week of restoration I call it a week of laughter I call it a week of rest roundabout may that be your testimony in the name of Jesus as you travel I declare you go well as you return I declare that you return well in the name of Jesus you are separated from every evil plot of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ this week beginning for you becomes a week of strange testimonies in the name of Jesus in the spirit of what God is doing especially in this season I decree and declare that this week for you let it become a week of strange prophetic encounters in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus and I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that anything that represents a source of pain and an interruption to your Christian experience it falls down and lets you go free now in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that you are blessed I declare that you are lifted I declare that your hunger for spiritual things is growing in the name of Jesus your life will be a representation of the power the character the grace and the wisdom of the spirit receive it in the name of Jesus your enemies will not see your back your enemies will not see your face their plans will end as vanity but as for you the Lord is your lifter he will lift your head he will give you speed no delay no retrogression go forward go forward go forward advance progress in destiny name of Jesus whatever has silenced your influence so that your voice will not be heard I call upon the God of my covenant may you be heard from today may you be heard from today let the ends of the earth hear you let the ends of the earth hear you my assignment tonight is to threaten that which keeps you down 
that has vowed that your voice will not be heard John said I am the voice of one crying he was heard when Jesus came he was heard one of the things they tried to do to the early apostles was to shut their voice so that they will not it's not only men businesses have voices ministries have voices you can be active and sincere but if that sound in the spirit is not heard your relevance will also die with you I say it again the spirit that is shutting your voice I came by the road of a higher priesthood in the name of Jesus that silence comes to an end everywhere your finance is for this season can i pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing in the name of jesus anyone who is in a financial situation now i give you one month by prophecy may the god of all grace bring you out of it now every family that has not risen you have not seen the hand of god the testimony of god helping men from your father to your mother to your siblings to you every one of you in concert receives strange testimonies in the mighty name of jesus the gift that the lord has put within you i stir it up by the anointing and i declare may it bring you profiting may it bring you profiting may it bring you profiting may it bring you profiting, bring you profiting. what you have been looking for I command it to start looking for you. Ah, 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 hear this one. What you have been looking for, may it start looking for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every confusion in your life, may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now. Everyone who is discouraged and downcast, you are wondering what will become of your life. I want to speak to you. In the name of Jesus, you will have the last laugh in this life. Anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death. I declare may death pass over you. May death pass over you. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. You are blessed in Abuja. Blessed in Lagos. Blessed in America. Blessed in UK. All over Europe. All over Africa. Return as a sign and a wonder. Return as a testament of God's favor. In the name of Jesus. Now, let me speak over your spiritual life. Everything attacking your prayer life, attacking your word study life, attacking your zeal and your passion for spiritual things, it dies permanently right now. May your prayer life be fanned back to flames. May your word study life be fanned back to flames. May your passion for the house of God be fanned back to flames. May your appetite for spiritual things be fanned back to flames in the name of jesus christ listen i call you beulah and hefzibah beulah and hefzibah you are like a well watered garden i call you a wealthy place an oasis springing possibilities in the name of jesus you will not beg and you will not borrow yet you will not lack in the name of jesus these hands that are lifted remain lifted forever they will not go down the Lord is your shepherd. He will guide you in paths of righteousness. He restores your soul. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. For someone, God will take away sleep from your helpers, like Ahasuerus, and make them open the book of remembrance towards you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, whoever must come into your life for your rising, wherever they are, may they come speedily. Everywhere your job is, may God locate you and take you there. Anyone waiting for your downfall will wait forever. Because as for you, the Lord stands by you like a mighty terrible one. In the name of Jesus. Numbers chapter 1 and verse 5. Let this be a prophetic word for you. The man God has raised to stand by you. The man God has raised to support you financially. To support you spiritually. Keep that scripture there. In the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. Anywhere they are. These are the names of the men that shall stand with you. May God raise them to stand with you. 
you will never stand alone. May God raise men to stand with you. Strategic destiny help us. You will call and the Lord will answer. You will call and men will answer. In the name of Jesus. Now anyone here who came from a background of failure, you saw those before you fail, whether in ministry, whether in life, and there are covenants and ordinances connected to you by the blood of the eternal covenant. I speak to someone from this day. I severe you from that foundation. I severe you from that foundation. I declare longevity in ministry, longevity of impact, the staying power until the end. In the name of Jesus, you will never be found where God is not. I say it again, you will never be deceived to go where God is not. In the name of Jesus, every counsel of Ahitophel, I decree and declare your ears will not hear it. The ears of your helpers will not hear it. I say it again, your ears will not hear it. The counsel of Ahitophel, your helpers will not hear it. Anyone coming by the way of Demas, may they be far from you. Anyone coming in the spirit of Sambalat and Tobias to stop you from building, I declare they depart from your life. Anyone coming in the spirit of Judas, may they be far from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, your place of mentorship will be like that. Listen, I prophesy to someone by the power of the Holy Spirit, you will have a place like the house of Tyrannus. You will raise others. You will raise mighty men. You will raise others. You will raise mighty men. You will raise others mightier than you. In the name of Jesus. The spirits that cut short the impact of men. Just when they are about to blow some, something happens and they go down. I pray for you minus you. Minus your children. Minus your business. Minus your family. Your influence will remain. You will last till the very end. Only going higher and higher. Only going higher and higher. Only going higher and higher. In the name of Jesus. For anyone here who is saying time is gone. I've lost certain things. In the name of Jesus. On account of this impartation. Let there be restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who am I prophesying to? In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I call upon he who has the key of David. The one who opens a door. That no man can shut. And shuts a door. Every door that has been closed. Over your career. Over your life. Over your destiny. I declare. A father be opened. A father be open. A father be open. A father be open. A father be open. Be open. Be open. Doors of strategic relationships. Be open. Doors of strategic finances. Be open. The treasures of darkness. The hidden riches of secret places. Be open. Doors of career. Be open. Doors of destiny help us. Be open. In the name of Jesus. Someone shout open. Shout open. Shout open. Shout open. Listen to me. Please don't be distracted. Something is happening in this place. Look at me. Every city you see has gates in the spirit and doors in the spirit. Just because you are there does not mean the gates are open. Now you see, if you grew up in the north or you have had encounters with the north, you will know that when you are entering most of the northern states, you will see like city gates am i right on that sometimes there are no doors until you pass that most of the people believe that you have not entered that city you will see maybe welcome to kano or welcome to whatever those gates it was an ancient principle there are many people who are in abuja here but in the spirit you are not yet in abuja so you cannot eat of that which belongs to those who are here are you ready for gates to open and doors to open Listen, 
I have seen territories where the inhabitants never eat of the blessings of the land. It is only strangers that eat of it. I have seen families where the children never eat of the blessings of the land. It is strangers that eat of it. We are going to pray that prayer. There's an anointing on these open doors. Open. God has opened some doors in my life as a person and as a man of God. And I know the benefit. Ten years can be compressed in one month under an open door. I am telling you. Are you ready to pray? Say, Father. Shout it. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus. Strategic doors in this season that I must enter. I declare them open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I declare them open. Everyone pray, be serious. Online pray. US pray. Canada pray. Kenya pray. South Africa pray. Ghana pray. Lagos pray. Every door, strategic doors, relational doors, financial doors, spiritual doors sabraga baga barakatash laga prataka barakatos kebrantaka baka barakatos take a minute to pray all doors open in this season all doors open in this season open of your own accord Open unto me, open for a new season, open for greater influence, open for greater kingdom impact. All doors open, strategic doors open, relational doors open. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Be seated for one minute. Be seated for one minute. My God, fire is burning in this place. Be seated in this place. This testimony of open doors, you will see how many people will come and stand here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me tell you what happens when a door opens. There is no restraint again. An open door means access to the next level. All the rooms in a house are separated by doors. Just because you are in a house does not mean you will enjoy every provision in that house. You can be in the living room, but the door that leads to the kitchen is closed. And if it does not open when you are hungry, you will be in the house and be dying of hunger. The door to the restroom can be closed. When you are pressed and you need to ease yourself and that door is not open, it brings discomfort. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to bring all those that the power of God will rest on them now. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. I want to make a declaration. This is not just for individuals. All these people are representing families. I'm seeing in the spirit. Families tied down by chains. Doors that have closed over them. This is what God is revealing to me. I want you to bring them out. Every family here. Not just, you are individuals, but you are representing families. No one has been able to go forward. There is an embargo that has sat upon families. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call upon El Shaddai. I call upon the warrior. Whilst you are seated, anyone here under territorial closed doors that have tied you down, tied your family down, right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let it descend upon that family now. Let it descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Bring them out. Descend upon that family now. In the name of Jesus. Descend upon that family now. My God. In the name of Jesus, he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Tied by witchcraft, tied by ancestry, tied by bloodline. In the name that is above all names, I say it again. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered.
delivered now. You and your family be delivered now. Every force that keeps you down goes down for your sake. Every force attempting to keep you down goes down for your sake. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy over your life, go forward. Go forward. Make progress. Go forward. Make progress. I say it again, go forward. Make progress. Shame and reproach is far from your life. Stagnation is far from your life. Let it be clear that the hand of God is upon you. Let it be clear that the wisdom of God is upon you. Let it be clear that the favor of God is upon you. Let it be clear that you have become Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus, men will look at your life and they will learn God. They will look at your life and they will desire to know Him. They will look at your life and turn away from evil. They will look at your life and press for righteousness. They will look at your life and love the things of God. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you. The era of foolish decisions, trouble-making decisions, destiny-pegging decisions, by this impartation of wisdom, may you begin to make superior decisions. Superior decisions. Decisions, one decision that you will make, you will leap five years forward. Five years forward. Five years forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that fights your influence, fights your relevance, by this grace, it dies here tonight. Hear me? Every man of God connected to this grace, every true son and daughter in ministry, I pray for you, for the sake of his majesty, rise to a global scale. May the nations demand your grace. May they honor Jesus in your life. I will multiply them, they will not be few. I will glorify them, they will not be small. I say it again, be multiplied. May you experience the glory of God. The gift of men. Please everybody receive this one. The gift of men. So that you don't struggle for nothing. There has to be a helper somewhere ordained by God. Anywhere at all where there is a need, I tell you there is a helper. I pray from today, you will not struggle to find helpers. You will not struggle to find helpers. Help us in ministry. Help us in business. Help us in your family. You will never be alone to struggle alone again. In the name of Jesus. May someone be interested in your matter. May someone be interested in your rising. May someone be interested in your shining. May someone be interested in your restoration. In the name of Jesus. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Advance. Leap over walls. Run through a troop. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody speaking evil in the ears of your helper that before you get to your helper, a wrong word has already reached before you. Before you get there, people who would have helped you and lifted you because someone sent by hell said something to them. I pray for you. Every counsel of Ahitophel, by the power of prophecy, it dies right now. It dies right now over your life, your business, your family. It dies right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of smallness that never allows you to expand, experiencing the faithfulness of God, I decree and declare, may your hands be open for more. May your mind be open for more. May your relationships be open for more. I say it again, may your hand symbolizing your productivity be open for more. May your mind be open for more. May your relationships expand for more. Anyone waiting for your downfall will spend their lifetime waiting. Because as for you, the Lord is your glory and is the lifter up of your head. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of help that is needed for you to go forward. I'm speaking to a businessman. I'm speaking to someone in ministry. The kind of help that only God can bring to men. Honestly, I prophesy to you here on this altar. Beginning from now and the next 90 days. If you have the faith to believe. Write it down and believe. Begin to enjoy tremendous supplies. Tremendous supplies. I prophesy to you tremendous supplies. I place prophetic words upon your head. Let helpers arise. Let financiers arise. Let favor conduits arise. In the name of Jesus Christ. I forbid you from begging and borrowing. Finances will not limit your becoming. Finances will not limit your rising. Finances will not limit your driving. You will lay up gold as dust. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am confident that the sermons you've encountered have been a source of blessings, elevating your life and inspiring a heartfelt commitment to serving God wholeheartedly. We warmly invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you stay connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription represents more than just a click. It signifies a commitment to continuous spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aims to be a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and believers alike. We firmly believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our goal is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom illuminate your path. Thank you for being an integral part of this uplifting journey. And may God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. You can follow us on all our social media handles at Flaming Channel and visit our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you. And may God bless you abundantly.